As parents, teachers, family and friends, we have an obligation to care for our children. Diana, Princess of Wales, believed the young people have the power to change the world and she worked tirelessly throughout her life to promote this. Thankfully, her legacy lives on in a charity called the Diana Award, which strives to bring about positive change in the lives of the young people who need it most. As part of its work, it runs a range of schemes which tackle issues such as bullying and knife crime. For 17-year-old Hannah, school wasn't always a happy place. When I was in primary school, I absolutely loved theatre, musicals. I'd audition for these shows just to be a part of it. It didn't take long for these girls to start picking on me. They often played this game called Hannah's Gyms. They'd run around tagging each other if they were near me, saying that they had my gyms. At this point, I felt really alone. At secondary school, the bullying got much worse. So people would tell me that I don't belong here. When I went home, the bullying never went away. It was still there over social media. The darkest point for me was um, contemplating ending my own life. It still breaks my heart, really, to think that she felt that way and I could have lost my daughter. It's just heartbreaking. Over half of all children experience bullying during their school life and the effects can be deeply traumatic. I know this because it's something I experienced at school. But thankfully, the Diana Award Charity operates an anti-bullying programme in schools across the UK, which aims to make school a happy place for everyone. So the anti-bullying programme is about empowering young people to realise that they themselves can be the one to create positive change in their schools and communities. It's about equipping them with the skills to stand up to bullying and support those going through it. Hannah was so inspired by the anti-bullying programme that she herself became a trainer. So my name is Hannah and I am a member of the sick form community here. Not only does it help people come forward and feel they can tackle bullying, it also opens a lot of people's eyes to maybe what they thought was a bit of a laugh or was a bit of banter and can actually cause harm. So the anti-bullying ambassadors here are trained to we lose too many young lives because of bullying. This is why the work which the charity do is so important. She has got her spark back. She's now got that confidence to know that she is a beautiful person. In addition to its anti-bullying work, the charity believes in championing young people who are making a positive difference to society. So for the past two decades, the charity has awarded its prestigious Diana Award to outstanding individuals who work selflessly and continue Princess Diana's legacy. Like Callum, who lives at home with his parents. Life for the family changed irreversibly when he was eight and his brother Liam was 10. It was just a normal day playing outside with my brother. We were just having so much fun. And then he hurts his leg. We thought it was trivial. There was nothing wrong with him. And then he started limping, and that limp got a little bit worse. We went to the doctors, and the doctors noticed a lump in his left leg. After a couple of days, we got a phone call, and they told us that Liam had cancer. After two years of being in and out of hospital, a 12-year-old Liam was told that his cancer was terminal. Despite being in a wheelchair, he was determined to make the most of the time he had left. And what was great was Liam chose to do something good, and his way of doing something good was to, to raise money to help other children like him. So he decided to swim a mile. For someone who could barely walk a couple hundred metres, it was like climbing up Mount Everest. Having raised almost half a million pounds for charity, Liam's health took a drastic turn for the worst. Liam had been in a coma for quite a while. He knew that that was the time. Uh, I kissed Liam and I made him two promises, to live a great life and to help others, because that's all he did in his life.
My way of coping with Liam's death was to just go out there and do things that Liam did. So I decided that I wanted to start fundraising. Callum's fundraising events included cycling the length of Britain, which raised thousands of pounds to help young people affected by cancer, disability and illness. In 2010, the charity presented him with their esteemed Diana Award. I felt really proud uh, of, of what I had achieved. I actually kind of felt inspired to go out there and do more. And this is the beauty of the Diana Award. The charity knows that people who grow up without a positive role model are 67% less likely to gain employment when leaving education. So its mentoring program pairs mentors from the world of work with young people in schools to help them gain the skills and confidence to fulfil their potential. 17-year-old Ryan is from East London. Me being the oldest of seven, I'm the head of the family and I want to make sure that I set a good example for my brothers and sisters to follow. You hear that children are being stabbed here and there, it's a constant worry. If my boys are out and my girls are out and I'm calling them and they're not answering their phone, my mind goes overdrive. It's hard to try and give them independence when you're scared of what's around them. Two years ago, Ryan attended a mentoring session at his school which, like this one, was built around a social action project. Social action projects can vary from homelessness, food to knife crime, gang crime, feeling safe in communities. How long do you reckon it will take to think about this, organise it, do it? And so they pick the social action that they feel is going to make the biggest difference. And like poetry is a good, like, a good source of like, expressing yourself and stuff like that. It's really helped me like, come out of my shell and it's helped me like, to understand like, um, that I'm not subject to my environment. So I think it's really benefited me in like um, the long haul. Ryan is now a peer mentor himself and leads assemblies about knife crime in other schools. It was a topic that I wanted to get out there, how they could prevent it, how they could stay away from situations that will put their life at risk. So I felt really nervous, but what helped me continue was that I felt that I was making a difference. It made me feel proud that he was using what he'd been taught to help with other children. I think that young people are easily influenced to do good or bad, and I want to be the role model that influenced them to do the good things. Harry and I feel that our mother lives on in the countless acts of compassion and bravery that she inspires in others. To me, the Diana Award is such a positive thing for young people giving them that platform and helping them to let others see the good that there is in young people of today. The charity believes that by empowering young people to make positive change, our communities will be safer and happier places to live. So by donating, you'll be helping young people to change the world for the better. To make a donation, please go to the website diana-award.org.uk. Or if you'd like to post a donation, please make your cheque payable to the Diana Award and send it to the Diana Award, 1 Mark Square, London, EC2A4EG. Thank you.